look, I don't like them. I can't stand these people. I can't stand everything about this. I don't believe them. I don't believe them. I struggle to believe anybody on social media with a spray tan. It's just kind of a fundamental rule to live by. I don't know about you. I, I realize I'm out of touch. I realize I'm I'm uncomfortable with the light in this in this studio. So I realize that I'm not um, the greatest litmus test of what is cool on social media and what looks great on social media. But as a fundamental rule, I don't believe anybody on social media with a spray tan. I'm not sure I believe or anyone else should believe anybody on social media with a spray tan under the age of 55. There. I, is there anybody above 55 on social media and videos? Is there? I don't even know if there is. Okay, so that as kind of a, man, that's kind of a crabby, cynical setup, Jeff. Yeah. Yeah, I think it is. I think you should try it, too. I hope you do. The obvious reasons to not believe this couple. And the obvious reasons not to believe them. Number one. Number one, they're married. They're not having sex. That's number one. Number two, they look too good. Nobody looks like that. And let me tell you from experience, plenty of experience. You know what? When you have little kids, you look like hell. Always. Always. Especially if it's before noon, you look like hell. You sound like hell and you look like hell. That's the way it works. Got it? Two fundamental things. Reasons not to believe them. They're married and they're not having sex. Two, no way anyone married with small kids early in the morning looks like this. I don't believe it. I don't believe them. And I hope you rip them. I hope you do. I hope you are mean. I hope you are skeptical. I hope you you make fun of them. I, I'm sorry there's children involved, but they're the ones who brought the children to the story. Got it? So, if you want to believe this, I will suggest that you do, because I'm going to make fun of you, too. But if you want to believe this, you go ahead. There apparently are plenty of soccer moms watching the Today Show. I would rather gouge my eyes out than watch that show about baking and gardening. What else is on the Today Show? But I assume there's plenty of soccer moms that watch that show that love this. This is perfect for them. And they get to hear the story and they giggle and whatever goes on. I don't know. So I, I'd ask all of you the standard questions for our social media world of today, because th this is like a perfect example. Th this couple is a perfect example. Um, one, why would you video this? Like, right, don't, shouldn't we all apply? I don't think we do apply this standard, but shouldn't we all apply this standard? Why would you video this? Why would you have this conversation with everyone? Why? And how did it end up with the Today Show? Why is that? You think if they both weighed about 230 pounds with a hook nose and a belly that they'd be on the Today Show? Would they? Yeah. If they look like every other parent early in the morning with a bunch of little kids, would they be having this discussion? So why would you video this in your room? Why? Why would you tell us this stuff? What is the deal? Anyone at the age of 40 with a spray tan, why do you think the rest of us care? Does anybody ever stop to ask themselves? I just would assume no one cares. I assume no one cares. That's a great starting point. But why would you assume the rest of us care? Now, I say that, of course, then it's on the Today Show, and I guess the soccer moms are eating it up. Do you soccer moms really think they're real? Do you really think this is a couple? And then, of course, the most important question of all in social media times Okay, and I don't think anybody pays attention to this. Why do you think we care? Does it, have you ever like tried? That would be an interesting focus group. Just take a bunch of people, probably with spray tans, who want to video every single minute of their day, from meatheads in a gym in their underwear to uh, this couple acting like they're having a debate about sex, to anybody else. Does anyone ever stop and say, I'd like to hear from you. Why do you think we care? Why do you think we care that you lost your job? Why are you telling us that? Why are you telling us about your butt cheeks today, dude, in the mirror at the gym? Why? Why do you think we care? All right. I want you to meet Matt and J.C. Underwood. I don't like them and I don't believe them. What are they angling for?
Oh, they're popular now. I suspect it's all calculated. I, I think of people that do this, I think just like reality show people, their agent says, listen, it's either wait tables or do this. It's either wait tables and do porn or do this. That's all you got, right? Spielberg is not calling. This is all you got. Just serve it up to the soccer moms. They'll love this stuff. So I don't know what they're angling for. I'm sure it's something. Please. This is a weird request. Please make fun of them. What did you just say? It's our daughter's crying right now because she heard you screaming and she wanted to make sure you're okay. I was screaming? Yeah. So I think you should come talk to her. Let her know that you're okay. What's wrong? I heard you screaming and I wanted to know what's wrong. My daughter was answering me. Oh, our door was closed. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Oh, no, I'm not hurt. I'm sorry that scared you. I thought you were so asleep. I also heard you ordering pizza. <laughs> you suck. You know what? That's Matt and JC Underwood. You know what the problem is? Allegedly, for them to ooh, go on the Today Show and chat about it. Yeah. They're married. They're having sex. Their daughter heard them. Yeah. Please make fun of them, please. And make fun of anyone that watched that and liked it. Please make fun of them. How dare anyone take that kid? I'm sorry to be so serious about this, but how dare anyone, any way, take that kid and have that crying child on a stupid video for the Today Show?